How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of No Man Land Survival Challenge. We are getting ready to start gearing up for winter, so we got a lot of things to do. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it first thing this morning. Uh, we'll probably progress in the next day, start getting our equipment put away, and see what we can do for winter. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode, and let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, all right. So lots of things to do today. Uh, we got our field done. It's growing, and we need to get our equipment put away and kind of gear it for winter. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably going to start snowing soon, so we need to organize, put away things away, and get ready to get going here. So I think first things first, we're probably going to go ahead and hop into let's see, September, November. Yeah, we'll go ahead and progress the month here. Let's just make sure everything's good to go. Uh, sheep, do they have food? Yep, they have food. Uh, Production-wise, we're doing really good. We did add the two honey spots, um, so I'm curious to see how much honey we have in the morning. That'll be really interesting to see. Uh, Production-wise, wool, we're good. Canola oil, we know we don't have that, and wood, yep, tons of wood in there. So let's go ahead, hop into the next month. Okay, so we sold some animals. Uh, we have honey. Let's just see how much we actually have uh, now that we have four honey pallets here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got quite a bit. Uh, silage is coming up. Let's see. Uh, canola oil is coming up. We need to keep an eye on that. That's going to be sold in the next month or so, and that's going to get us a lot of money there. Uh, we have a lot of planks to get sold as well. Uh, we need to get those over to the farmer's market. And honey, where's it going? It's going to the farm shop. So I think we'll do the daily rituals and we'll, yeah, let's do that before we start putting stuff away. Uh, we'll get everything sold here and get everything put away. So I'm really excited. I think I've got some good ideas for what we want to do into the next months uh, getting into winter. I want to get, if we can, um, probably a clothing shop down. We may do that. I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting to see. That won't attach yet. Pull it now. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, we need to get uh, basically everything ready to go. Now, if we get a clothing shop, we'll need to see how much it's going to take to... Oh, sorry about that. Let's see here. There we go. And... All right. We need to see how much it's going to take per month for cloth. Uh, I want to make sure that if we do do a clothing shop, we can keep it fed. Uh, we may have to add more sheep and another spinnery, but we have a lot of uh, fabric stored up, so we should be okay uh, in the beginning to just kind of keep things going there. So we'll get all this wool put in. We'll grab the pallets we need to get that stored real quick, and then we may do a little bit of a quick uh, montage and, and do the selling of the planks and the honey and get all that taken care of so get this done here I appreciate you guys' comments I'm really enjoying them um, definitely great suggestions going on there um, I like the one about the bigger fields we did that last episode um, I think you were right we needed to make a lot bigger field so hopefully that field will last us when we harvest a lot longer than last time uh, so we can make more money off that canola oil I do want to get into sunflowers though so uh, possibly looking in sunflowers uh, probably next planting season if we can manage it. I'd like to get this land behind us here too, uh, right there where the trailers are. Uh, that would be a good field not only to put the cattle in, but also to turn into another field maybe for like sunflower or um, some other form of crop. We do need a place to carry out getting more grass um, so we can get silage and hay and all that stuff. So uh, maybe we'll use it for that. All right, that's put away. Now, we already have honey on the trailer, so let's go ahead. I guess we can just grab the rest of the honey here and get it on the trailer and get it sold. Since we already got the weight on, let's just go ahead and do that. And yeah, that is quite a bit of honey for one night's work. So I think doubling up the honey production is going to be good for us. Um, it's another really good form of passive income and it'll make us quite a bit of money our honey's been doing really well so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it okay now come on can do it all 
Hopefully this doesn't make the trailer tip. This stuff is pretty heavy. I think we can push it over there and then we'll put the other ones on top as well. Here we are. Not the best place to be parked for the trailer to do this, but you know, it works out. So, all good. Ooh, ooh, we almost ran her over there. Alright, so we should get quite a bit of money today, and I'm thinking probably next month or two we'll start um, buying more stuff and pushing out more productions. We may be able to get the clothing shop. I do want to get a trailer by or a new tractor by next planting season um, so we can start looking at uh, getting some bigger equipment. I saw in the comments, yes, we may spend money on the bigger equipment, and uh, we should probably use what we have, but... I feel like if we can do things a little bit faster, it'll be worth the investment to get bigger equipment. If we if we start get more fields, um, we still have five years, so I think we're probably going to need to get a bigger cultivator and cedar and some other things. So that way, if we can really progress through the fields a lot faster. We can get more of it done in a shorter amount of time. So that that'll it's kind of my thought process on that. So. I'm thinking we're going to upgrade to the largest medium tractor in the John Deere series. It can have a front loader attachment as well. Um, we'll probably have to sell the front loader attachment that we have for this tractor because it's a uh, different brand other than the John Deere, but it should be okay. Okay, I don't think, you know what, we might need the weight down there, so let's go ahead and throw the weight on the trailer and take it with us. I was going to leave it off, but I think we'll go ahead and grab it and take it with us. Because um, I have a feeling some of those planks are going to be stacked up and we don't want to tip over getting them on the trailer. So we'll just grab this guy and put it on there. It's not too hard to do. You just have to get in here and kind of do like that. Pick it up. There we go. Throw it on the back of the trailer. Take it with us. All right. So I think there's two different sell points. So we'll sell the honey first and then we'll run over grab the uh, planks and get them sold. But I'm going to go ahead and speed that up because uh, that's going to take a minute to do. So we will see you guys in just a few minutes. Until then, enjoy the time lapse. So we got a good chunk of money there. We're up to $88,000. So that is uh, really good. I'm pretty happy about that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to get the yard cleaned up, get the equipment put away. Uh, that'll take a little bit. Uh, while we're doing that, we'll kind of keep an eye on the productions. And then we may go ahead and press into November and see where we stand after that. Uh, you know what? Let's just leave this trailer right here for now. Get a good spot for it. And then let's go ahead and start getting this cleaned up. So... Um, not as much working room here as we had before since we expanded the field, but it's still enough. I think we're good. Uh, that was one of my big worries about expanding that field out, but we're in a good spot. So uh, I think 
I think we're pretty well off. All right, so let's start getting equipment put away. I think I'm going to leave the harvester out. Um, I've got my eye on a piece of land that uh, the land over there in front of our sawmill is nice and flat. It's got a little bit of woods on it, so we'd have a little bit extra wood there, but it's nice and flat. There's a lot to it. Um, so I may take a look at that. That may be our next field that we get um, just for like crops and things because I do want to start getting more crops down and then see where we go from there. But I think, yeah, I think that may be our next field that we do. All right, so we can put that there. Let's see, what do we put in next? So the roller goes last, so let's get it and put it in first because that's the last thing we do is roll a field and then we need to get all these pallets put away and stored as well get that out of here and we'll get all the equipment put in the garage take care of that pretty good there we go that should attach now there we are. We need to put the cables on, otherwise the brakes won't release. Okay, so hey, I'm thinking that field over there uh, by the the sawmill, we could clear it really quick, um, get rid of all the stumps and trees off of it. There's really not much on it, and it's really flat, so it would be a really really good crop field, I think. Um, so I may look into getting that one, and then we'll get the one for the cattle behind us, because I do want to get another field for crops come next spring. Because uh, I want to try and get maybe some sunflower down, and there's a couple other different types of crops I wanted to look into as well. So we may just have to get a new field. Now, are we going to hit the wall here? Let's see. We're good. This guy backed in here all the way up to the wall there. That's looking pretty good right there. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck on the wall. There we go. And then I believe it's the cedar that goes next. Yeah. Seeding's the second to last thing we do. Grab that. Get that in there as well. Probably put that between the uh, stump grinder and the roller. And then we're going to have to look at getting a new garage as well. Um, we are running out of room for our equipment, and if we upgrade and get bigger equipment, so I may look at getting a garage that we can you know, store in and also repair out of, because that would be probably something we need to do. Um, we've been living out of a tent for quite a few years now. Um, not the best thing, but you know what? We've been working hard, so maybe we'll upgrade before too long. And, uh, oh, hey now, be a little crazy here. pretty quick to input so should be good about there I guess that roller could have went back a little bit further huh that's eh, okay it is what it is I think it's plenty of room it's not taking up too much space there okay so what do we need to put in next we need to put in um, I believe the mulcher no cultivator so we go Spread, mulch, cultivate. So let's throw the cultivator in there. We could probably put the cultivator and the mulcher on both sides of the cedar. Make a little room in there for that. Let's see here. Here we are. And then that guy... Maybe we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it right there between the roller and the cedar, and we'll put the mulcher on the other side. Probably be the best idea. I wonder if I can just nudge that roller backwards. Let's see. Yeah, we can. It's only a little bit of paint. Not a big issue. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy dropped down, so we're going to see where he's at. And I think we can just put it right in... 
Oh, hang on now. Right there works, I guess. Get as much room in here as we can, get everything covered. And then I think, yeah, we need the mulcher next. He is that way. Let's grab the uh, baler. Get it out of the way for a second here. Pull it over here. Uh, the brakes aren't coming off because we don't have the lines hooked up. There we go. So now once we get organized, we'll kind of take a look and see. I think we're just going to do some month progression here, try and get our bankroll going. Um, I really want to get that land over there across from the sawmill. So we can also have more room when we put in our bigger sawmill. And then also turn that into a nice field as well. I wonder you know, what we could possibly do. Get a hold of this guy. Just push it over here. It'll get stored. And we'll get our pallet over there as well. Here we go. One way to get rid of it. And the nice thing is we won't have to do much mowing, <clears throat> mowing over the next couple months. We do have quite a bit of food. So we're really good there. I may go ahead and move the tent too. I think we need to get that out of there. And honestly, we should probably look at better accommodations. Um, we've been living out of a tent for a while. Maybe we can get a little log cabin down or something. And, uh, yep. So we'll probably sell the tent, get it rid of it, and see what else do we need to get in there. Oh, the spreader, get that in as well. Now, if we go to doing more fields here very shortly, you know, we will uh, be pulling this back out, but at least for now, it's out of our way and it's not causing us any issues for driving around or getting around over here with the trailer. Go. Put this right here in the front. Should we put it on the side over there? Actually, you know what? Might not be a bad idea. Just stick it over here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this looks like a good spot for it. Here we go. And then, yeah, we'll probably get rid of the uh, tent. Go ahead and uh, get that out of here. And then we're going to find better accommodations here. So let's go ahead and get that sold. Tent. $22. Yay, we're rich. <laughs> but, hey, at least it's out of there, right? Okay, so now we want to put in... Let's see. Let's put the mower, the baler, the wagon, and the tether kind of on this left-hand side over here. I think that'd probably be the best. And then um, we'll probably put the front lower attachment over by the pallet forks. Good. go um actually i think i'm gonna put the wagon the forge wagon right there actually no i'm gonna put it on the other side because we won't need it we may need the spreader before too long but we won't need the roller and stuff just yet so let's go ahead and get this guy in here there we go and then the baler and the tether and forge wagon and then we'll be good for cleanup anyways and then we got to figure out a place to put our trailers we're gonna have to look at shops i haven't really looked at anything in a while so i'm not sure you know what kind of shops are available and what's out there so we'll have to take a look at that Oop, wrong way there there we go Put this 
over here on this side. Probably be good. Um, we may have to reconnect to that. Let me uh, straighten the tractor out a little bit here and then reconnect. We uh, kind of got a little jackknife there. way and then get it put in there maybe we look around the other way you can see the edge of the barn there a little bit better there's the edge little massy ferg which we may upgrade at some point that's probably good right about there right is that hitting the uh, thing yet? Let's take a look and see. Nope, we're good right there. Let's go ahead and drop it. And let's put the forge wagon next to the baler, because those are our two pickup machines. And then we'll put the tether by the mower. There we go. Gotta have a clean yard, man. Get everything put away. <clears throat> we made a mess last episode, but looking better now for sure. Put the tether right there in front of the mulcher, and I think we'll be good to go. We just need to get these pallets of uh, seed put away, and we'll be cleaned up all the way. So, um, yeah, I think the big thing this month is really just get uh, as much money as possible, get in December, get our canola oil sold, um, kind of get all that taken care of, because that's going to be a big push to get where we need to get. This thing is so short that any real big moves you make you get a little sideways, so here we go. Alright, now we have a nice cleaned out organized shed. Alright, let's drop our front loader over here in front of our new beehives. We have a lot of bees now. That is something that is uh Hopefully gonna make us, yeah, look at that. We've already got two and a half pallets of honey and we, it's only 11 o'clock, so that's really good. Uh, let's get the pallet forks on. I wanna go ahead and get uh, that cloth put away and then get this uh, seed put away and then we'll take a look at where we're at in the day. Probably go ahead and progress into the next month. I wanna run, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the sheep out of food and then we're gonna bring the hay over and stack it in the bale slot. So that way uh, we can get them switched over to hay. I think they'll enjoy it more and it'll be easier on us too. So there we go. Nice. We've got quite a good amount of materials in there. I think we're going to be just fine. Um, uh oh. Come off of there. There we go. And that field is looking really good. I'm really excited about that. I think w with that, we should get close to a year's production worth of canola. Uh, we'll see on the next one. If we don't get a year's worth of canola, we'll expand the field next time. And um, we plant it when we plant it for like wheat, and sorghum and stuff. 
um, just so we can make sure. We want to make sure that we have a year's worth because it, otherwise it's just not worth it. You know, we need to make sure we get enough product into our production unit so that it continues for a full year. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll calculate that out next time. And we'll probably have to calculate exactly how much it's going to take us to get a full year's worth worth out of canola oil. So, um, all right, we're looking really good. All right, we are, we're organized now. I feel a lot better about that. I was kind of getting a little irritated with everything that was in the way. We got our trailer. Let's take a look at our productions and see kind of what we got going. Um, honey is already up to a thousand liters. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, fabric, we're looking really good. Canola oil, how are we looking on that? Do we think that's going to peak out today? Hmm. Let's see. It is moving up. <clears throat> at the farmer's market, but it's stagnant at the farm shop and the market stall. I think we can go ahead and get into the next month, and then canola oil will probably be sold next month. Uh, that'll get us around 70000 and then we'll have another um, payment from the planks and the honey. So I think what we're going to do now is figure out where we want to put a new place to live so we can sleep. So let's see here. Where's a good spot? To put a house now this is our production line and farm line where's a good place to have a house you know also i want to do i do want to get rid of this silo we're going to get a different silo so let's just go ahead and sell this it's it's aging so we just want to go ahead and sell it now um get the money back for that and then hmm where to put my house maybe up on top of the hill is that a good spot i mean it's kind of far away from all this stuff down here but i mean I think a cabin on the hill overlooking the farm would look a little bit better, don't you guys? I think so. Let's go up here and see if we can find a nice spot for a cabin. Now, if we had that land over there on the road, like right in front of the rocks, it'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think a cabin in the woods would be pretty kind of kind of neat. We could always sell it if we need to make a field, put another one down. But I think for now. This is a great view of our little farm. So, maybe right here? Yeah, like right here, let's see. Um, yeah, I like right there. Let's see what we got for farmhouses. Now we just need a cheap little cabin, nothing too crazy or anything. So let's see here. What do we got? Now that's not bad. A little log cabin for 18,000. At least we'll have a house now. Um, is there a flat spot up here? That's not too bad right there. I think, is that... It's pretty square, right? Yeah, it's square right there. So I think maybe... Let's do it like right there. I think that looks pretty good. Yep. Alright, we got a little log cabin now. So we are... Living in style. Look at that. Heck yeah. We got a log cabin. Nice, and we walk out and see our awesome looking farm. Beautiful. Okay, well, let's go ahead and park our tractor here. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and move on into the next month and see where we stand. So, all right, let's get up at eight. The angry moose returns. All right, we sold some animals. Uh, we're up to 75,000, not bad. And it sounds like it's raining, so. Ooh, what a dreary, rainy morning. Ugh, yucky. All right, let's hop in our tractor. Get on some lights so we can see where we're going and uh, head back down to our field here. Now, we're gonna have to grab the trailer. Let's take a look and see what we got for uh, productions to go sell. Honey and planks probably be the biggest thing there. And then, uh, We'll take a look and see where that canola oil is at. It's probably getting to a good spot. Let's take a look here and see. Canola oil. Yes, it is coming up. It may peak today. What else are we looking at? You know, we could sell the silage too. We could always make more. Um, I might sell the silage as well. That might might be something we go ahead and do. Just get the silage out. Uh, let's go ahead though and... You know, I kind of like where the trailer's at to load at. Maybe, eh, we should probably move it over there a little bit closer. We 
can do that. All right, let's move it over here. set it this way that way we can load up the honey that looks good to me there we go and we'll unstrap our weight and get it off of there so we should probably undo all these straps but okay. well that's gonna take it's gonna be annoying but yeah whatever well, we'll deal with it later not a big issue Let's go ahead and get our weight off. We need to use that for our honey, because, uh, man, do we have some. How much do we get? Oh, wow. Yeah, we definitely... Wow, that's that's good. $20,000 in one month for honey? That's really good. So, um, that, that was a really good choice. That basically pays for itself in... That's still strapped down? Yeah, so it's, I think it's saying it's still strapped down. Hang on. Get rid of, can I please get rid of that one? Thank you. And that one. There we go. Alright. Now, it's not strapped down anymore. We should be able to pick it up. Yeah, look at that honey flowing out of there. We got stacks of four now. Which is, uh... A lot. Lots of honeys. So, great idea. That was, uh... That's going to be really nice for for getting uh, a lot more money a lot quicker. And we should get up to maybe 150, 200,000 today, which will put us in a really good spot to look at what we want to do for uh, winter productions. So... Let's see, do you think we can carry eight at a time? I think we've tried it before, right? Where we carry eight. I know we've carried six, but I don't think we've carried eight. Let's give it a shot and see. We might be able to. Think we can get them on the trailer? See Daisy. As long as our tractor doesn't tip over, should be okay. I think we're gonna have. Yep, yep. There it goes. No. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work very well. We're gonna have to do six at a time. Uh... <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, speed this up for you guys. Get all the daily chores taken care of and clean this mess up and uh we'll be back as soon as we get this taken care of until then uh enjoy the time lapse guys i'm here to come back and let you know um we uh had a little bit of a game crash there um we did get the footage back we got the honey sold um so now we're back at it but uh we're gonna go ahead and speed this up as well real quick just to kind of continue the time lapse get the plank sold and then we'll see where we're at but um i do apologize for the lost footage we did sell our honey and we're up to 99,350, so we're doing really good uh, but let's go ahead get these planks loaded up and we'll be right back until then enjoy the rest of the time lapse
All right, so our tractor needs to get repaired, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it in here, get it repaired, and fill it up with fuel. Um, let's go ahead and repair that, and then our tractor is looking rough, so we need to get it repaired. All right, we'll repaint it when we get ready to sell it. For now, we need to go ahead and just get it full up, and we'll fill it up with gas. That way we're uh, we're diesel. That way we're popped off and good to go. It was struggling there for a bit. It was needing repaired pretty bad, so. I was kind of hoping we could wait, but I mean, we're going to repair it when we turn it in regardless. So we might as well just go ahead and repair it now. All right, so we're looking really good. We're right at $150,000. Uh, we have the canolas coming up. That should peak hopefully today, so we'll probably wait around for that. Um, we've also got our silage that, you know what, we might just go ahead and sell the silage to uh, get that. That's another $40,000. That'll get us close to two hundred. dollars and then the canola will definitely jump us over 200 and then we'll be in a really good spot. So I'm thinking I wanna go ahead and buy either um, the one next to our sawmill or just below us. Uh, either one of those I think would be really good for one, we could clear it out for trees, get more wood for the uh, sawmill, and then also um, expand into a field, uh, another field, and we can mow it to get grass, hay, uh, silage, that kind of stuff. So. I think that may be what we do for this episode is grab one of those plots of land and start prepping it for next planting season after the winter because we'll have a few months to start prepping it um, getting figure out where we want to get the field get all the wood cleared out get that over to the sawmill and then uh, see what what crop we want to put down in it so I think that's probably what we'll do uh, let's take a look here and see what we could do is probably go ahead and buy the field uh, get start getting it prepped, cutting down the wood, getting it all cleared out. We can clear those trees out over there near our stuff. Let's see which one we want to get. Um, we want to go ahead and sell the silage though. Yeah, maybe we'll let's hook up the trailer and we'll grab the silage and get it sold. And then after we sell the silage, we'll pick out which field we're going to go for. And we'll just keep an eye on that canola price the whole time we do that um, so we can see when we need to sell it. I really do want to get a clothing shop down, but I think getting another field for production would be really good. Sunflower, um, getting that into the oil production facility. Uh, we could technically, let's let's take a look. We'll take a look and see um, what we have. Or I think we just have to drive right along here, right? Should pick stuff up. Let's see. There you go. So let's see, if we move the rock trailer, we could put a um, clothing store right there. That would probably be pretty good. We're getting a little bunkered up here, but it's fine. Not a big deal. We'll get them. get them all on there and then because if we're going to get another field we're going to make a lot more silage so and i think what we may do is just do uh, enough hay for the um sheep to be fed quite regularly which we have quite a bit already and then we'll uh turn the rest of it into silage and have a whole bunch of silage so that way if we decide to do cattle pretty soon we could do that um probably be a good thing so Now we gotta figure out where the best spot to sell this is. Get the last one here. There we go. All right, so, put that up. And then, um, yeah, we may go ahead and put a clothing shop down and go ahead and take some more fabric or cloth, or yeah, fabric and get it in there and uh, start making clothes. Now, when do clothes sell? Let's see here. Clothing sells best in, um, what's the month here? So in April. So we would have a few months. We might be able to get some down. Um, I think tripling up our, what our fabric would pay us anyways would probably be a good thing. So we'll look at that and see what the cost benefit is of that. 
I think we're at the farmer's market. Let me double check here and see for silage. Where do we need to turn this in at? Uh, silage. Let's see here. Where's the best price currently? It is at the farmer's market. Okay. So we'll turn that into the farmer's market here. don't think we have to unload it. I think we can just drive over and it'll sell. Let's check and see here. Sell it? No, we're going to have to unload it. So, let's go ahead and get our unload position here. We'll just unload it onto the sell point. Should be fine. There you go. And that's a good amount of sell in there. So, all right, that takes us up to 194. It's a good amount. And let's let our trailer get folded back up here. So I think what I want to do, we'll go over and take a look at each piece of property. Um, kind of want to get that property over there that's nice and really flat. Uh, clear the trees on it and get it prepped and ready for sunflower or some other type of product. I think sunflower would be the best because we do have the oil production facility. So that may be what we go with. Take a look and see how our sheep are doing. Have they gone through? Yeah, they're going through their food. So they'll need that hay tomorrow morning. All right, where are we at now? So, yeah, I think the last thing we just need to keep an eye on is canola. As soon as it's ready to sell, we'll sell the canola. Get it going. Honestly, we have enough money. We could buy both those pieces of property. I don't know if we want to go ahead and do both just yet. Um, I do want to have enough in the bank to get a bigger mower because um, we are going to need that. We're going to probably whichever property we get, we'll go out, clear the trees out. And um, once we clear the trees out, we'll get as many stumps as we can. And then I want to get the big butterfly mower that goes on the back of the tractor. And so that way we can mow a little bit easier. So let's just take a look here. I like this one quite a bit. So let's drive around it and see what all it has on it. Um, it has this little island right here. Now, if we clear that of all the trees, is that going to be... It's only a little raise in elevation, so it's not too crazy. We could flatten it out or just deal with it being in there. Uh, what about this one over here? This also has a bit of a raise to it too, but it's not too bad. We may be able to landscape it and flatten that out a little bit. And that comes all the way to like right about here. But look how flat this field is on the backside. So it's either that one there or possibly this one right here that we're driving into. Now, this one is nice and flat. And the only thing it has on it really is just this little patch of trees over here. So we have a few trees here and there in the middle of the field, small stuff we could pick up really quick. And then this little patch of trees right here, which is pretty close to the sawmill anyways. And it's nice and flat through there as well. I think this is the field I want to go for first. This is going to be our sunflower field more than likely. And then maybe that one over there we could turn into another field as well with uh, cattle on the back side of our stuff. I think this is the one we go with, honestly. Um, this looks really good right here. Yeah, and then if we need to, we could turn some of this into a nursery as well. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Go ahead and get some more trees in the ground and growing. That field over there, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that upper portion of this backfield. I may turn that into a grass area um, and just plant grass, maybe. Uh, it's going to be tough to keep that or to harvest that because it's a very big hill on the backside. It's very steep. So I don't want to turn that into some kind of crop that we're doing, but I think this field right here is going to be our best bet. Um, looks like it's got an old uh, field in here already. What is this? This uh, vines or something? What is this? Must have been a vineyard at some point in time, because that's what it looks like. Um, what do we have over here? Anything? Yeah, this must have been, this is a little vineyard as well for like vegetables, maybe a garden or something, but we'll just kind of plow that out. So I think, yeah, we get this, we clear all the trees uh, as best we can, and then we look at getting a bigger mower. So let's look at what it's going to take to get that butterfly mower. 
because um, I would like to be able to cover more area and mow a little bit quicker. So let's shut this off and take a little peek in the store here. So what I'm talking about, let's see here, mowers. Mowers, here we go. All right, so I'm looking for something like, that's pretty good. This guy is really good for like one of these. Um, I really want this one, but that one's quite expensive. The only thing I like about that, and the, the reason I'm going to consider this one, right? If we get this one, does this one swath as well? I don't know if this one swaths. So this one, if you get it, you can do work mode and you can get it to where it will. Yeah, see an extra 15 grand gets you basically wind road. So it wind rows all of your grass in a nice rows for you. And that is really good. So that's 164,000. I know that's very expensive for a mower, but we could pair it with this guy because it's only 15,000 for the front mower. And that would turn us our mower system into a really, really good mower system. Now, what is the horsepower required for that thing? So that requires 250 horsepower. So that's the other thing I got to think about. How much does that one require? 180, we can't even pull that one. Can't pull that. So we can't pull any of the butterflies currently with what we have. Maybe that one, but then we'd have to buy a wind row too. So that's the issue, right? So if we bought this for 25, we'd have to buy a wind row, but in all honesty for 25,000, that might be the better option to just get that in a cheap wind row. Um, how wide is this? This is 8.3. How wide is this? This is CS is 12.3. It's four meters wider. Do we save up and get that? We'd have to get a new tractor. Maybe we wait. Um, get the bigger tractor because the tractor I was looking at is going to cost us quite a bit of money as well. What's in the used storage right now? What's this? 170. What's this guy? Uh, that's a disc hauler. What's this? That's a hoe. Oh, that's for weeding. Okay. All right. Nothing really useful in there right now. So the other medium tractor I was looking to upgrade to was going to be this John Deere 6 Series. Um, this can go up to 300 horsepower so it can run Let's see, which mower, this requires 95 and this requires 250. So I don't think we'd be able to run both of those. We'd need 345 horsepower to run the tractor or to run the mower. Yeah, it'd be 95 plus 250 would be 345 kind of tractor could we get for 345 horsepower? You know, really we don't use the front <clears throat> very often. Let's see, what do we have here? Does this have a front loader attachment? No, it does not. What about this one? Front loader? No. How about this guy? Is he running a front loader? Just waits in the three point. What about this guy? Front loader? I thought I looked at all these. I'm just double checking because I want to see. I'd really like to get something that could use a front loader if we need it. But honestly, I don't think we would need a front loader. What's this guy? That's going to be what we go with possibly for... Mm. Dang it, man. I was kind of hoping one of these would have a front loader attachment on it. Well, honestly, I don't think we really need the front loader attachment. We're not really using it. We could sell it, get this for 247 next month, and then take another month and get the mower 
and that would speed up our progress a lot. I just think having, and then we could get bigger equipment. So if we got this at, say we got this at 300, why, why does that have customizations on it? Okay, it just has a weight. So if we got, turn off the lights here. Sorry, bear with me guys. I'm just trying to think this through a little bit here. Um, this can only go up to 300 horsepower. What's this one go up to? 3, 287, 247, 310, that's close. 235, what's this go up to? 305, 280, 305, 295, 271. Yeah, we're just going down from there. So if we got this at, that's 233, how much for the large one? So if we got this guy at 247 to that would probably be the best option there. And then we could always add stuff to it later. Oh, wait a minute. Can we get the front loader and the three point on there at the same time? Oh no. Why can't I do both? Will this one do both? Oh, we could always switch though if we needed to. But it does have a front loader attachment. That makes me kind of sad, actually, believe it or not. Because let's, we could go. Huh. Maybe we need to recheck these attachments. Standard 300. So that has a three point attachment. Rear without hydraulics. Standard. Okay. Um. About this guy. Here's the three point. That doesn't have a. Hmm. What about this guy? Three points. So what we could do, we could do the three point and we could still use the pallet forks with this. Um, I want to see. The wheel options on this for tire options. Okay. Sugar cane setup. It's kind of cool. What's the difference in sugarcane and regular? It's weird. Is it just wider? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's wider for sugarcane so you can drive down the rows. It's kind of neat. Um, okay. I like this one quite a bit and it's only 190. We could go ahead and get this trade in our other tractor. And then when we get the money for the mower, we could get it. So I'm thinking maybe this is what we do. Although, wait a minute, let's see how much it is for the engine setup. All right. To get 400, it's 311,000. Okay. That's a big difference. <laughs> We need, well, 345 is all we need to run the mower. That's 268. So, yeah, $120,000 just for the bigger engine. That's not going to cut it. So, how much is it to get this one in 400? I don't need a number on it. Let's see here. Yeah, it's still 120000 there. Um, this one for the higher engine setup. Or... That's enough right there to do what we need to do. Let's see. Yeah, 
See, that's only 289 for the 388. So it doesn't cost a ton more. And attachments, you can get front loader attachment or three point. So if we ever needed to, we could take it in. If once we get a shop, we if we need to use front loader attachment, we could go in, switch it out. Uh, it's not a big deal. It comes regardless with either one. Um, GPS, we'll probably want that on there at some point. So that's 289. And I think we'll go ahead and get... So that's 289 total is what we need. So we need another $100,000. Okay. So with that being said, after all of that, we may have to wait until next month. I'm probably not going to go ahead and buy this land now. Uh, we'll wait on that. So let's just continue on. Maybe by like December, November, December, January. Maybe by January we can get that. And we'll get the new land, start getting it prepped and ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and see, so if we bought the land, we'd be at a hundred thousand, one ninety. Let's go ahead and roll another month here. Um, I'm going to do that. Let's roll another month and see what we're at for pricing and how much money we have. We're going to have to put the hay in the storage place for them and let's just take a look at canola remember we got another 70 grand coming in for canola here pretty soon where's it at it is almost at its peak there we should probably go ahead and get that loaded up on the trailer ready to sell when it's ready so let's do that real quick before we progress any further That'll be good to do. I'm just trying to do some calculations in my head here. <clears throat> so we're getting to the end of year five into year six. I'd like to have a new tractor, better equipment, and year six will be a very large production year. I'm going to sell that honey while we're up there too. Um, let's see if it's going to the same place though. Let's stop the tractor right here maybe I guess. Now let's swing it around and get a little better angle. Or actually do just put it over here. That's where we need to load it up at. So let's do that right there maybe. Yeah, looks good. And let's take a look. Yeah, I want to have new equipment by year six. That's going to be my a big push. Let's get the weight on. Uh, we'll get the honey loaded up, and then we'll get the canola oiled up. And I need to see if they're going to the same place real quick. So let's do that. All right, canola oil is going to the market stall, and honey is going to the farm shop. So... Uh, for right now, we'll just go ahead and get the honey, sell it, and then, so we'll just go ahead and do that on the forks. We don't need to do that uh, on the trailer. We'll leave the trailer where it's at. And then we'll kind of go and see what this price gets up to. I do want to try and get up to the highest price possible because it's better to get the most money out of it. Then we'll check all of our productions and see uh, how we're looking on stuff here. take this up to the farm shop and we'll take another look at canola and then we may just advance the time a little bit to uh, see if we're gonna get the best price tonight or not um, we'll do that while we're loading up the canola onto the trailer I think that's gonna be kind of our big hit for right now in November December time frame so yeah we're getting there we're 
only about a hundred bucks off. So I think that's going to jump probably tonight or tomorrow morning. So we'll just advance time and see how that goes. We'll get this honey sold and then straw. Yeah, we're looking good. So. extra cash in the bank and then yeah I guess we get the canola loaded up onto the trailer and we might as well I'm gonna go ahead and turn the time up a little bit so it doesn't take forever let's get it up there and just kind of keep an eye on it um, canola there we go and we'll just have to wait and see how that does until we get into next month we did put more trees in the uh, Thing, right? Yeah, we're good there. Fabric's good. Yep, we're doing really good on all that stuff. So, we may start setting some wool off to the side as well. Let's see how much canola oil we have here. Pallet canola oil. We have 11 of them. Let's go ahead and get those out of there. Alright, so nice in a row there. These loaded up. Another thing we should be doing is keeping an eye on that store to see here. Yep, nothing else yet. And then let's get this set to that so we can see it nice and easy. Here we go. How many did we figure out we could carry this thing? Three or four? I think it was only three, right? Yeah, two bounces, three is enough. Really glad we got the trailer. That was a good buy. I was kind of missing the trailer there for a while. It's tough doing as many laps up there as we can to sell stuff, but we made it work. But now we're in a little bit better spot. We've got our trailer. Should we try four? Yeah, we got a big weight. With the, the other tractor, I think we'd probably be able to do four. But. This one, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty light on the rear end. We'll just keep it at that. Look, canola oil. It's still coming up. It's at 8.51. We'll see where it's at in the next, like, 30 minutes or so. Maybe it'll be in a better spot, so... What did we say it was? 851? Yeah, 852. It is climbing quite a bit. To go up a dollar in like 10 minutes, that's uh, it's climbing. So it's probably going to shoot up really fast here and get up to a peak price and then drop off. So. And then next year we'll have a lot more canola oil to sell because we'll have more canola in the it's definitely heavy. Like that. Alrighty, let's see where we're at. And yeah, 858. It is still coming up quite quick. So we'll just keep an eye on it into the night here. A um, little bit of just hanging out time. So nothing too crazy. You guys just get to sit here and watch me piddle around, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll be done piddling very shortly. While we're doing that, I may take a look. The only problem is, right, so if I look at the clothing shop, 
it's a hundred thousand dollars I'm not sure it, it I don't think it tells me how much it does until I actually buy it so like once you get it in production you can see how much it takes to actually do it um, I'm not sure if we want to do that just yet I want to do it very soon but I definitely want better equipment um, I just feel like a bigger tractor with more horsepower being able to do more for us would be a really positive thing we can get start we can use the equipment we have as far as tow behinds but we can start upgrading slowly as we go along we need a bigger cultivator we need a bigger mower we need a bigger mulcher a plow you know all that stuff we can start upgrading and getting into a better position so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stop wasting diesel and take a look at the price here. It is at, um, 5865, so it's going up still quite rapidly. Let's go ahead and ramp up the time a little bit more, and we'll keep an eye on it here. Okay, let's take a look. Yep, 870. So we're almost there. It's 953 is the peak price. So as soon as we get up to that, we may have to sell at night. Let's go ahead and drop the weight. Um, actually, while we're waiting, might as well sell. Eh, we'll sell the honey tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Honey prices were coming up, so we'll just sell it tomorrow. Actually, we might <clears throat> store some of our honey for the next couple months and just have it lump big, little, big lump sum after the first of the year. Because I think that sells in like February or something, doesn't it? Let's check honey and see when the best time to sell honey is. The best is in March, so yeah, we could wait till the front of the first of the year. We'll see. Um, yeah, still coming up. Are the sheep doing? Are they out of food yet? Getting close. They'll be out by morning, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get hooked up here. I think we're going to sell tonight. I don't think it's going to peak in the morning. If it does, it's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and be hooked up to the trailer. Get all this strapped down. There we are. Turn that off. Uh, 5896. Yeah, we're about $60 away from peak price. So shouldn't take too much longer to get there. Yep, 900. I feel like it's going to peak tonight, so we're just going to kind of play the waiting game. And yeah, I think, yeah, eventually we'll replace this stuff. While we're doing this, we could look at garages. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we need a garage. Let me get rid of that. Um, 9.7, yep. We're going to need a garage that we can repair our own vehicles in before too long. So let's just see. Uh, tools. Yeah, here we go. Um, that looks nice. Sheds. Here we go. Container, maybe? No. Should be in tools, right? Is this where the workshops are? I don't know. Let's take a look at our price here. Almost there. So, let's see here. Where would be a good... Shed... That's nice. That's a nice six by six there. That's really nice. Different ones here. That's pretty nice. Well, 
Hmm. Let's uh, kick on some light so it's not too dark for you guys. And let's check our price here. Yeah, 33. I think we're going to peak close to midnight. So we're just going to have to wait until uh, price is as good as it's going to get here. I have a bad feeling it would peak and then go down in the morning and we want to get as much money as we need to for it. So we're just going to sit here and let it roll. Yep, 9.36. We're getting there. It's moving pretty quick. Let's give it a little bit extra oomph there. Okay, it looks like it's peaked around that price right there. Now it says it peaks in December. But let's go ahead and kick the time back down here. 942, what's it doing? Let's give it a little bit of time and see if is it going up or is it going down? Forty-three. Forty-five. Yeah. All the oil. Yeah, so I think, well, it may go up a little bit in December. It drops off in January, so you know what? Let's go ahead. We'll take a risk. Um, I'm going to run up to uh, the house here. We'll sleep through the rest of the night, and then we'll see what the price is in the morning. Maybe it will go up a little bit more in December. And if we lose out, we lose out, but I feel like... Maybe, yeah, it's still going up 951 right now. We might want to wait. Let's give it till, let's get, it's only eight o'clock. It seems very dark out, but it's because it's raining. Um, it's only eight o'clock, so let's wait until, yeah, see, it's at a peak price. So let's just go ahead and sell it right now. We'll get it sold. Might as well. Let's go ahead and drop that back down. There you go. All right, we're selling at. Let's take a double check here. We're going to be selling at the market stall. Yep. It may go higher than that, but I think um, I don't want to take the risk. Uh, I just have a feeling it may not go much higher than that. Yeah, it's 956, so it's still going up a hair, but it's getting ready to start dropping. So. Uh, we're looking pretty good. I think that's a good amount to get, 70,000. That'll put us just over 250. And then after we sell tomorrow morning, maybe we can go ahead and get our new tractor. Oh, sorry, I hit your market stall. Takes a little bit of work to get this thing to go the right way, doesn't it? Make sure we don't hit the wall over here. There we go. Now we should be able to get it in there. Yep. There we go. All right. Nice big chunk of change there. 263,000. Is that a new high? I think that's a new high. So let's not hit the market stall. There we are. All right, we can go up and sleep and we'll just check and see. Yeah, it's probably going to start coming down here pretty soon. Where do I have canola oil at? Oh, that's in my plant. Yeah, that's not, we can't sell that. I mean, technically we could sell it. Um, but we'll just save it. It's not a big issue. 263. Good, good, good amount of product there. Uh, we're going to need this trailer in the morning, so we'll just store it right here. 
And we'll drive up to our little cottage that we put on top of the hill and get some sleep. It's been a long day. Really good progress though. These are the months where, you know, we were pretty much stalemate there for a while. We weren't making as much product and uh, we were having a hard time really getting money through this, this stage. So now that we are getting money through this stage, it's uh, kind of picking things up a little bit. The uh, sawmill's still going. Uh, we'll double check that real quick just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it'll be good through the night. Um, let's go inside. Okay, so let's take a look at the sawmill, see how it's doing. Um, yeah, it has plenty of wood. They have plenty of uh, wool. And our sheep should run out of food by morning time. So that'll be really good. Um, yeah, it's not going up much more. So I think we're pretty good there. And then we'll sell all the honey in the morning and the planks. And make quite a bit more money. So let's go ahead. Um, sleep till about 8 o'clock. All right, we sold some animals. It, uh, we are at just shy of 265,000. That's really good. Well, let's take a look and see here. We have a lot of planks to sell. That's good. And then honey is really good as well. So let's go ahead. We'll get the honey sold. Um, how are they doing? Yep, we need to get the first things first. We need to get the hay in the hay bales into the heat pen. That's not what we wanted. Uh, here we go. Can actually turn that guidance steering off for now. Our sheep have ran out of food. We need to feed them. And then after we sell the honey and the planks, we may go ahead and upgrade our tractor. And then once we have enough money for the uh, piece of land over there, we'll grab it and start working it. But I, I think this is uh, going really well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, go ahead and get the hay bales over here, get everything moved and get everything sold. And then I'll catch back up with you guys. So until then, hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. Let's see what kind of payday we can get here. I think we can get it all at once, right? Nope. Missed. Go. That one should sell the rest of the way there. There we are. Let's get the rest of the honey. Planks. And there we go, guys. We are at a new high. Um, 337. I think it's time. I want to. Let's go ahead and get us a new tractor. All right. So I'm going to upgrade here to something that can pull quite a bit um, probably 400 plus horsepower really put us into a new range of what we're able to do 
and I think it'll be really good. So, um, maybe we shouldn't have filled up with fuel, but it's okay. It didn't cost us too much. Let's go ahead. We'll put the, uh, pallet forks right over here where we can hook onto them. Maybe we'll just do that so we can get them on the way out. Here we go. All right, let's see what we can get for this guy. It's been a great tractor. It's done us well, but uh, we need something bigger. So it is definitely time to get us a bigger tractor. All right, let's see what we can get for it. So first things first, we need to repaint. That's going to cost us 20. We should get that back out of it, though. So, okay, so right now we have we can sell for 48. If we can sell it for more than 68, we made money. So, yep, okay, so we made an extra $2,000 there. It's not a big deal. We'll get that back. So let's go ahead and sell this for 70 and then pick out what we're going to get here. So anything in the store? No, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I want to go in the large category, and I'm thinking about this 7 Series right here. I think this will be really good because um, we can change that out from a front loader to three point. Do the US design because why not? We'll do tire sound and make it realistic. Go with that guy. And I think we want to go with the 388 horsepower. Now, that puts us at 289,000. Okay, so that leaves us about 100,000 left. So that's not too bad. Uh, GPS, though, would put us right at 300. So that would leave us enough to actually get the land as well. I don't think we need the camera system. We really didn't use that too often. Um, let's see. What's the difference here? 388. US. We'll probably go with the rear twins. Yeah, the twin wheel setup eventually is probably what we'll do with this thing. For right now, we'll go standard. We don't need the wheel weights. I like the Baird Stein. 373 would bring us down a little bit, but I think that's where we want to go right there. We do want the GPS. Of course, we want it to be John Deere. What's the difference between the EU and the just the back spokes and the blinkers themselves? Yeah. So that one's 300. If we do it like that, now let's just look and see. Okay. This one can go up to 440 horsepower. But to get that, you have to pay a lot more. We could always upgrade it. So there's an option to upgrade there. But if we do the 360, we'd still be able to do the mower. But I don't think this has a front loader attachment on it. Right? Yeah, it just has a three-point. It doesn't have the front loader. So, um, this can go up to 400. I'm pretty sure that doesn't have a front loader. Does this one have a front loader? Let's see here. No, that does not have a front loader attachment. So we're not going to do that one. I want to have the I want to have the ability to put a front loader on. I think this is our best bet right here. This seven series. Um, yeah, I think this is the best one. Stock it has three hundred and five. What's the other one have? Stock two ninety. So. I think we go with this one, 305 stock horsepower. What about this one? This can go up to 458. Can you get a front loader though? Let's see. Yeah, it only has a front weight or three point. It doesn't have the front loader attachment. So, and to get the higher horsepower, 458, we'd be spending 351 eventually, 285 up front for 
326, which is not enough for what we want to do. So yeah, I think the seven series is going to be our best bet. And then later on in life, we'll get up to the nine series for pulling that guy eventually will grab. Um, but maybe one day, but this will be able to do everything we need it to do for now. This could be our final tractor. If we make a crap ton of money, then maybe we upgrade to a better tractor. But I think this seven series is what we go with. And I think we go with the U.S. design. And we'll go with these guys. We're going to go ahead and get the, the engine set up for 388 horse. Um, that will allow us to pull a lot of stuff. We'll set up. Do we go ahead and do the twin wheels? That's an extra 16,000 though. I think standard for now maybe. The wide tires would actually be nice. Rear twin rears would actually be really good. That puts us right at 300,000. Well, with the GPS to be 315. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll probably just go standard for now. And then we don't need to go anything too crazy, but at least we'll have the front attachment and we'll have that. Go ahead and get the GPS on it. Three point attachment, tire sound. Yeah, we'll make that more realistic. I like that. And we get 388 horsepower. How much is, what's the difference here? An X7, $7,000 for 15 horsepower. Um, 7,500. That keeps us under 300,000. And that would still pull what we wanted it to. We could always upgrade. It'd only be a little bit to upgrade to that. So what's that put us at? 350. And that keeps us at 286. That would still allow us to pull the mower. Maybe this is the option for now. That saves us, what, $20,000 on top. We could still pull the mower we want to pull. We could get the land. Hmm. Or do we just go ahead and go for the biggest engine? Eh, maybe we just go biggest engine. We'll have enough. Uh, that's really good right there. It's brand new. Um, yeah, I think this is what we go with. All right, here we go. New tractor. $304,000 for a new tractor. I'm okay with that. It's a lot of money, but you know what? Looky there, guys. We are big tractor now. Yes. Ooh, we got to look inside, though. Ooh, buttons. All sorts of pretty things. This is nice. Very, very nice. All right. Oh, yeah. We got some horsepower now. We're looking good. All right, let's hook the trailer up. Now we shouldn't have any problems pulling anything we want to pull. Here we go. It's like it's not even on there. And we're faster too, which is good. Here we go. Just like that. And we're rocking and rolling. All right, cool. Let's look inside here. Ooh, it's pretty. Nice tractor. All right, so I think we're good there. Um, we're just at a point where we can almost buy that land that we want to get. I think we're probably going to call the episode right there. We did some really good work today. Got a lot of stuff sold. I'm glad we got a new tractor. Um, we will definitely be able to do everything we want to do from here on out with the tractor. So let's go ahead and check everything one last time. And make sure we don't need to do anything else today. And I just want to get this trailer in the right spot here. That's a good place for it. There we go. And let's take a look and see. I think everybody's good to go. So we just sold all the honey. We just sold all the planks. And I believe the sheep have plenty of food. Yes, they do. And wood yeah we're good on wood so 
all right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll pick it right back up where we left off next episode and hopefully by that time we will we'll be getting into a new field uh starting to clear it and get some more uh crops ready for next planting season so until then as always have a royal day we'll see you in the next one take care <laughs>